Just a few weeks ago, I uploaded a video talking about how arcade racing was a dying genre. While I didn't explicitly talk about the vehicular combat subgenre, I made sure to include those games in the video as well. So to an extent, I was trying to show that vehicular combat was also on a downward spiral. Then Sony does this. Now normally I wouldn't do reaction videos to a trailer, but this has completely changed everything. Destruction All-Stars could be the game that brings back the vehicular combat genre. Now why do I say this? Well, let me explain. See, what sets this game apart is its combination of car combat and on foot combat. It seems that after a player's vehicle is destroyed, they can take on other players on foot or fight the players still in vehicles. It's incredibly hectic and it's a very fast paced experience. Plus, just take a look at the art style. I think it's fair to say where their inspiration came from. They are targeting the perfect pool of people that can make this game popular, whether that is young kids, teens, or adults. However, this game has a lot to prove. Firstly, the developer, Lucid Games, isn't known for big titles. One of their most notable titles was Geometry Wars 3, and they have assisted with bigger titles, like helping Ghost Games with the UI design for Need for Speed Payback. I believe this studio can pull this off, but their lack of big titles may put off people when hearing about this game. Secondly, it needs to be priced properly. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but all I know is that charging $40 to $60 will kill this game. We've seen arcade racers like Onrush fall to this same fate, as this genre doesn't have the same perceived value as before. Lastly, like I've mentioned, the vehicular combat genre is declining. This already puts this game in a tricky spot, and this is not helped by the fact that this will be a PlayStation exclusive. Sony has to make sure they advertise this game well and get it out there to a large audience. This might not be the game that makes people buy a PlayStation 5, but it sure as hell needs to be a game that PlayStation fans rave over. It needs all the help in the world if Sony wants this to succeed. I'll be keeping my eye on Destruction All-Stars. This might be an exciting moment for the vehicular combat fans, as we could see a revival in this stagnated genre. I wish Lucid Games the best of luck, and we are all rooting for this game's success. This has been Gamer Alex. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a nice day.